<laughs> hey friends, welcome back to our channel. I hope you're doing well. And today we will be talking about five most common, most popular shapes of Yixin Zisha clay teapot. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Jen. Bill and I run an online tea boutique, Jen Tea. At Jen Tea, we specialize in fine tasting great Chinese tea. In this channel, we share videos about uh, tea travels, tea garden, how is tea made, and how to make a delicious cup of tea at home. So if you are also a tea lover, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified as soon as we have new content. Without further ado, let's get started. Well first, let's look at this little cutie. This teapot shape is called Xi Shi Hu. It was first created by Xu Youquan in the mid 17th century. Originally, it's named Xi Shi Ru Hu. Xi Shi is the name of a Chinese beauty, like Helen of Troy. Ru means breast. So Xi Shi Ru Hu tells you that this teapot is mimicking the breast of Xi Shi. And let's have a look at this round little cutie knob on top. Yes, you guessed it. This is the nipple. I guess everybody have those lonely nights and teapot makers are no exception. This design or the shape kind of dictates that Xi Shi Hu usually comes in medium to small size. Up next, we have Shui Ping Hu. It was first created by Hui Mengchen in the mid 17th century. Shui Ping Hu, as the name Shui Ping indicates, when put in the water, this teapot stay upright and balanced. This requires a good balance and coordination between the spout and the handle as well as the overall weight distribution of the teapot. Shui Ping Hu can also mean all the little teapots. However, uh, nowadays the most commonly when we talk about Shui Ping Hu, we refer to this teapot shape. It has a rather round body, a skinny and curved handle with a long and straight spout. The design of Shui Ping Hu is very simplistic and elegant. It's the Zisha's interpretation of minimalism. Another popular shape is called Fang Gu Hu. This shape was first created by Shao Da Hen in the early 19th century. Fang Gu Hu, originally named Fang Gu Hu, it's the same pronunciation, but the original name tells you that this teapot shape is mimicking drum. Let's have a look at the teapot in detail. The body is round and flattened, similar to a drum. It has a raised neck. The knob is also flattened. Overall, this teapot looks very weighty but not clunky. Shi Piao Hu has a very interesting shape. This shape was first created by Chen Manshen in the early 19th century. At a glance, you probably notice that this teapot shape like a pyramid. Yes, it plays with triangles. The body of the teapot is a triangle shape. The knob is a triangle. The handle is usually a reverse triangle. And to balance and coordinate these triangles, it uses a very flat lid with a short and stubby cylinder spout. Shi Piao Hu has a very primitive air. It looks strong and sturdy. The trickiness of this shape is to find the balance, the coordination, the right ratio between the multiple triangles as well as the lines. It's very visually intriguing. While Shi Piao Hu talks about triangles and straight lines, the next one we're going to talk about is the very dead opposite. It's called Duo Qiu Hu, and this shape of teapot plays with circles and curved lines. 
Duoqiu Hu was first created by Shao Dahen in the early 19th century. As the name suggests, Duoqiu piling up circles and balls. This teapot shape features round body, round lid, and a ball-shaped knot. And let's have a closer look at the spout. It's a very curved spout, and the opening at the base of the spout is bigger than the the end, the mouth of the spout. The handle of this teapot also have a subtle transition from thicky, uh, the thick part gradually becomes skinnier. Personally, I found that in the West, when we talk about uh, Yixin Zisha teapots, we emphasize only on the clay. Indeed, uh, Yixin Zisha is a very unique clay and it worth every emphasis. However, there is so much more to Yixin Zisha clay teapot. The firing of the clay requires different temperature for different clay types. Yixin Zisha also have a very long and rich history that fascinates many. When it comes to a very um, technical and practical aspect of a teapot, its weight distribution, the alignment, the connection with the different body parts, it all requires a great amount of skills. And on top of that, Yixin Zisha teapots also have artistic elements of paintings and sculpting. There you have it, five most common and most popular shapes of Yixin Zisha clay teapot. Please give me a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Looking forward to see you again. Until next time, keep steeping.